Hey all, Salaf is here. Um, I just wanted to do a super quick tutorial um, with something using the lasso tool and the free transform tool. Um, this is a technique I use quite a bit as I'm fixing up my uh, digital drawings and it's something hopefully that will help you out as you adjust things around. Um, so as you can see I'm trying to draw this little squirrel buddy here that I found on Reddit. Um, and right now he's looking pretty creepy, but I'll fix that up later. Um, but basically, the main thing I'm going to focus on is, as you notice from the reference photo that I have here, um, his eye is kind of even with the nose, and his face is a bit more flat. Whereas if you compare to how I drew it, um, the eye is above the nose, and I made the face way, way more round and high up, so I need to kind of fix that up. So a quick way you can do it is you can grab the lasso tool, which I've already selected here, and I'm going to grab just the chunk that's bothering me. So the nose is fine. Um, I'm going to grab this chunk of fur right here. And then the ear should be even with the eye. And I've already got that accomplished. So I'll grab the ear as well. And I'll just grab that up here and connect it. And you'll see it's selected for just that part. Now I'll hit Command T. You can also do this by, um, actually, how can you do it? Uh, ah, Transform. So you would click Free Transform there. Yeah, Command T. <laughs> So you grab that, um, and you'll notice that there's this little crosshair in the middle. Um, this crosshair is essentially your anchoring point, and you're basically saying that um, you want to transform the space around the anchoring point. So by default, it's always in the center, and if you accidentally move it around, if you kind of move it to the center to lock into place. But what I want to do, since I'm happy with where the nose is and everything else is just a little too high up, I'm going to drag this anchoring point over to the nose because I want everything else to stay connected around that point. I just want to sh move everything down a little. So with the anchoring point on the nose, I'm going to go up here, like above the, um, the box. And you'll notice it has this um, sort of two arrows thing. That means I can rotate it. And you'll notice as I rotate it, voila, I can make the eye more level with the nose, <clears throat> just like it is in the ref, and I can also make the face a little bit more flat as I've, as I've adjusted that around. So I can also, maybe I went a little bit too far, that probably looks a little bit crazy, but I can also just adjust a little bit like that. Um, when I'm happy with what I've done, I hit Enter, I hit Command D to deselect what I've selected, and I can also go into my history here and just kind of go back and forth between the before and after and make sure that I'm happy with it. And I think it looks much better this way. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, um, tweet, tweet at me at Zalafis at Twitter. Um, and I hope to do some more tutorials like this in the future. Thanks, guys.